up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to this channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 nissan maxima courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we're in this one today because there is one minor change for the 2022 model year and of course as always this is an incredibly good looking sedan without a doubt i don't think anyone can argue with that but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2022 maxima first one being the sv starting at thirty-seven thousand four hundred and forty dollars the sr which again is the one we have today starting at forty two thousand six hundred lastly the platinum starting at forty two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on this thing will be the same powering the beast is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 300 horsepower at 6400 rpm 261 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,400 RPM, power sent to the front wheels through a CVT, zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.7 seconds, top speed 133 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 30 then on the highway. But so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test, because we actually do have some massive paddle shifters on this Maxima, did want to mention to you guys the drive modes. It's a little button essentially, you got normal and sport. Normal is what the car naturally defaults to, of course, but then there is that sport behind the uh, circular dial there. When you hit that, it's gonna adjust the uh, simulated shift points and the throttle response then as well. So now, having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put the paddle shifters and acceleration to the test all at once here. And let's see how quickly the paddle shifters react and let's see how quickly we can get the new Maxima here up to speed. And here we go. Not bad. All right, for simulated shifting, it actually kind of simulated an automatic pretty darn good. And of course, this thing is actually quick as stink as expected. And actually, a decent amount of grip there as well, which kind of surprised me because this is a heck of a lot of power being sent to just the front wheels, essentially. So you would imagine with that kind of a situation, there sometimes can be a good bit of torque steer, which I've experienced plenty of times before, but there really wasn't a whole lot of it at all in the Maxima for whatever reason. So I like how Nissan set that up because it actually was a decent acceleration. So well done, Nissan. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 12.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.1 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, they're just going to come in at 113 feet, which by the way is insanely impressive. That is definitely the number you want to shoot for if you're in a sports sedan. As far as braking feel goes, it couldn't get any better, honestly. It definitely leans towards the firmer side of things. It's absolutely wonderful. There are no dead spots or softness in the braking at all. So wonderful braking feel. Touching then on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an independent strut type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. But the SR trim actually that we have today is going to add to that, including a sport tuned suspension, meaning retuned damper, stiffer springs, and a larger front stabilizer bar then as well. So overall, as far as ride quality goes, actually, surprisingly, it's been perfectly fine. I mean. Typically, for the most part, Maryland has some pretty darn good roads. However, we are in Frederick, so there are some potholes every now and then. But honestly, ride quality has been perfectly fine for me, even with the stiffer suspension in the SR. So definitely on point there without a doubt. As far as steering feel goes, it's okay. It definitely leans a little bit towards the heavier side of things. Wouldn't have minded if they made it a bit heavier of a feel to it. But having said that, it's perfectly fine for what the Maxima is. As far as cabin noise goes, is we're going two miles per hour right now. <laughs> no, but seriously, the cabin noise isn't that bad. Again, it's extremely quiet on the inside. There isn't a whole lot of wind noise or even road noise coming into the cabin. This is really almost like a luxury sports sedan. So really, honestly, Nissan did a very good job when it comes to insulation of this thing. The touching up visibility, it's actually really good. It's definitely not that bad because I'm used to with Nissans, a lot of times you don't always get that visibility. Take for example, the 370Z, the visibility is horrendous. Uh, but honestly, for this sedan, it's not as good as some other sedans out there. But having said that, it's perfectly fine for me. So I'm definitely not gonna have any issues there at all. Also rain sensing windshield wipers, by the way, is going to come on the platinum trim level, which essentially is like automatic windshield wipers and just like automatic headlights basically. So that's gonna assist with visibility as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Nissan Maxima. 
All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Nissan Maxima finished in super black with our SR trim, adding so many more black accents. We'll get into that, but definitely makes this thing a very good looking car. But let's go ahead and start up front. Chrome V-Motion front grille coming with the SV and the platinum trim levels. However, because we have the SR, we actually have a black V-Motion front grille to tie in together with all of the other black paint, of course. Definitely looks good. To the sides, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights coming standard. They do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But not only that, you do have automatic high beams as well coming standard on the 2022 Maxima, meaning if you have our high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when the vehicle is gone, it's going to bump that back up to high beams then for you. So yet again, one less thing you got to worry about. So that's definitely very nice. And down to the bottom there, you guys can see there are LED fog lights coming standard across the board as well. But definitely a very menacing looking front end, especially in our super black exterior. But about rounds out the front. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Maxima. All right. So now since we are around to the side of this one, chrome belt line molding does come standard believe it or not even on the sr trim in the back towards the c pillar there you guys can see we do have a floating roof line as well of course power folding gloss black side mirrors they actually do get gloss black for every single trim level so that's pretty interesting heated side mirrors do come standard with led integrated turn signals as well and actually if you go with the sr or platinum trims you will get the reverse tilt down feature then as well which is pretty cool when you're in reverse of course then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch machine finish aluminum alloys for the SV, 19 inch gloss black aluminum alloys for the SR, and 19 inch machine finished aluminum alloys of course for the platinum. But again, very good looking side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. So but now since we are around back, I forgot to mention it on the side here, but these windows are tinted. It's a 35% tint, so it's completely legal, at least here in Maryland, but did want to mention that. But body color antenna, you guys can see that all the way to the top there. There is a rear spoiler that comes standard with the S are trim level only of course just below that rear spoiler you will find trim level badging so if you wander onto a lot maybe on a sunday and you're curious what trim level you were looking at of any given maxima that is where you're going to find it essentially led taillights coming standard for all trim levels across the board as well but just below it all this is my favorite part you guys you do have dual exhaust outlets with quad tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. And so but now since we are around to the back of the Maxima, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there's a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob. There is actually a button on the trunk itself, of course, and there is a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 14.3 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is some cargo lighting back there. There's actually two grocery bag hooks that fold down on both sides back there, and that that is pretty darn cool. You usually don't see that in sedans, but rather SUVs. So I liked seeing that. Also, if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a spare tire as opposed to the fix a flat then as well, which I personally prefer. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 34.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Rear ventilation also coming standard. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders and a little slot to put your cell phone as well, which I thought was pretty cool. There are two charging ports back there one is a standard phone charging port the other being a usb charging port so i like that they put both and if you were to go with the platinum trim level you're actually going to get heated rear seats as well so i absolutely love that feature that is definitely a luxury feature you find on luxury brands out there so i'm a big fan of that then make your way up to the front seats eight-way power driver seat with power lumbar coming standard four-way power passenger seat coming standard as well SR trim level is going to add to that thigh support and memory settings for the driver's seat for up to two different drivers found on the driver's door, of course. Heated front seats do come standard. Leather front seats come standard for all trim levels across the board. However, if you go with the Platinum, you're actually going to get diamond quilted leather inserts. And if you go with the SR, you're going to get diamond quilted Alcantara inserts, which is, of course, is what you guys are looking at right now. Alcantara, you typically find in Mercedes-Benz and luxury brands, so I love seeing that. 
overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it's been perfectly fine because of the lumbar support. It was extremely comfortable seating, if I'm being honest. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable for the platinum trim level only. It will be leather wrapped, however, for all trim levels across the board. You will get some Alcantara inserts on the left and right hand side for the SR trim level only to tie in perfectly with the seats, of course. Heated steering wheel coming with the SR and platinum. And of course, since we have the Maxima, it is a flat bottom as well, which I personally loved but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here uh, Nissan logo can be found all the way to the top of course you have lock unlock that button to pop the rear chunk but there is a remote start at the very top that's actually going to come standard for all trim levels across the board as well which I love because that'll help you warm up the Maxima on a cold day so it's all nice and warm and toasty once you get inside but ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located directly in front of the shifter and so once started up tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is on your right and there is a seven inch digital cluster in the middle there giving you things like outside temperature what time of day it is how many miles you have left until you hit empty there is a compass when you need your next oil change the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want within the digital portion of the gauges there then make our way to overall interior quality there is a dual panel panoramic moonroof with the sr and platinum so essentially the front passengers and the rear passengers have their own private moonroof which i think is pretty darn cool dual zone climate control comes standard for all trim levels there's an auto dimming rear view mirror that comes standard for all trims as well but if you go with the sr platinum you actually get home link controls on that rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors which i absolutely love and actually if you go with the sr platinum you also get adjustable ambient led lighting which is always nice maple wood trim then coming with the platinum satin dark chrome trim coming with the sr aluminum foot pedals coming with the sr as well which i thought was pretty cool and there's the charcoal headliner coming with the sr as well so overall very dark very sporty interior with some orange contrast stitching which I like too that runs above the center air vents here as well as just above the gauges and it's a nice soft feel just above the gauges as well I think I might have said that in a previous review but always get a kick out of that that's very luxurious I guess you could say Devin also mentioned though in front of the cup holders you have a decent amount of storage more than likely for your cell phone you have a few more charging ports there you have dual cup holders of course behind those cup holders you're going to find your heated and cold seat buttons and then within the center armrest you actually have a 12 volt power outlet and a decent amount of storage in there as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen eight inch colored touchscreen display coming standard bluetooth and audio streaming also coming standard android auto apple carplay as well factory navigation system guess what coming standard again gotta love it and of course you can check out your radio information up there as well and by the way when it comes to the sound systems you will get eight speakers for the sv then there is an 11 speaker bose sound system for the sr and the platinum so that means we do have that bose sound system with us here today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <music> You know what's funny? Every single time I test out a Nissan sound system, the bass is just so much better than all the other manufacturers. I feel like the bass on that Bose sound system was amazing, like ton of bass. I, I can't emphasize that enough. And of course, Bose being one of the most reputable sound system companies out there. So that's definitely going to be good for peace of mind as well. You know, it's not going to break on you essentially. So that is definitely a very good sound system for the Maxima without a doubt. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Maxima in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. But if you go with the SR or the Platinum, you will also get that 300 six degree monitor you guys are looking at to the right there which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start iihs top safety pick plus which by the way is the very highest designation given by iihs that pretty much says it all right there front side side carrying airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard on the maxima will be a forward collision warning system autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection lane departure warning blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert there is a rear sonar system aka rear parking sensors and traffic sign recognition as well but then if you were to go with the sr platinum that is going to add to that front and rear sonar system and intelligent lane intervention then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the maxima it looks great it's incredibly quick it's got a luxury interior 
and it's an IHS Top Safety Pick Plus. So this is kind of that sporty sedan when you got kids and you want to be safe at the same time. And this is a perfect fit for that. Really the only room for improvement I can possibly think of with the Maxima is the CVT transmission. And that's just because CVT transmissions naturally are emotionless. So it does an all right job simulating an automatic, but ultimately if there was any other transmission in here, even if it's just a standard automatic, dual clutch would be preferred maybe, but it would sell so much better. I'm telling you Nissan, you gotta hear me on that. But overall, very enjoyable car without a doubt. Let me know what you guys think of the Maxima in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.